Your Honor, Your Honor, defense is opening their case by grandstanding. Make your point and move on, Ms. Miller. Mr. Takahama, as coroner, isn't it your job to autopsy all murder victims in Port Charles? Asked and answered, Your Honor. We've already established that Mr. Alcazar's body has not been recovered yet. Mr. Takahama, without a body or any other supporting forensic evidence such as DNA or, or, or evidence of a struggle, you have no proof that the man is dead or that a crime has been committed. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Scorpio, you have been police commissioner here in Port Charles for over 10 years. Is that correct? Yes. And during the time that you have held that office, how many times has Jason Morgan been arrested? I'm not sure the exact number, but I'd say around a dozen. A dozen. Well, according to Mr. Morgan's PCPD file, 32 separate incidents. That looks about right. How many times has he been convicted? None. Could you repeat that, Commissioner? None. So 32 times your department has subjected my client to the humiliation of being handcuffed, fingerprinted, and falsely accused. Just because Jason was never convicted doesn't mean he was innocent. Yes or no, Commissioner? Yes. How do you account for that astonishing ratio of arrest to conviction? Jason Morgan can afford to hire high-priced attorneys like yourself. <laughs> You display a surprising lack of confidence in the legal system, Commissioner. If there had been even one shred of evidence against my client, no high-priced attorney in the world could have made a judge and jury Your Honor, turn objection. a blind eye. Objection. Defense is speculating. Sustain. Get to the point, Ms. Isn't Miller. it possible that this current charge of murdering a man who may not even be dead is the direct result of a personal vendetta by Mr. Lansing against my client with the willing help of Objection, Your Honor. Isn't it Objection, true Your Honor. Defense that not Rick Lansing anything has more been out to get Jason Morgan against for years and this trial is simply more of the same? Uh, mind if I join you? No, not at all. It's nice to see a friendly face. I heard you were called to testify again. Yes, there is new evidence that Lorenzo Alcazar may be alive. How convenient. I know, and Rick, of course, was trying to do damage control, so he called me on the stand, hoping I would say I had some sort of direct knowledge of Jason planning a hit on Lorenzo or anyone else. Do you? No, of course not. Jason never discusses business with me. And to protect himself. I was with Jason for three years, and I gotta tell you, it would have been really easy for me to get on that stand and say that I heard him make a hit on some way. I, I mean, like, why not lie? Other people have done it. Rick must have assumed you would. I thought about it. I did, because I wanted Jason to hurt the way that I have been hurting. But you couldn't go through with it. Because it's not who you are. I'm not... You still hoping things work out with you and Jason? Oh, I think it's too late to repair the damage. No, you never know until you try. I put everything into that relationship, and I got nothing back. I just, I can't believe that one night with Elizabeth would be more important than the three years Jason spent with me. You really think that it was only one night? I don't know, Lucky. I don't know. Does it really matter? I mean, that's... It, Jason was emotionally unfaithful. That's what destroyed our relationship. I'm sorry, Sam. I... <laughs> You are the only one because Sonny and Carly and everyone else, they are cheering. Couldn't wait to get in line to make me the bad guy. Why does everybody believe that Jason can do no wrong? I know. I used to do the same exact thing. I would make excuses for him and jump to his rescue. But, you know, I don't, I don't mean to sound like the victim here. I just I really feel like I've been played for a fool. I know exactly what you mean. Could you identify this, please? It's the record of a withdrawal from a Singapore bank. Can you tell the court who withdrew the money? Lorenzo Alcazar. Could anyone else have withdrawn this money? Not with this kind of account. It requires fingerprint and retina scan. Mr. Alcazar would have had to have been there in person. 
Does this document indicate when the money was withdrawn? Yesterday. Thank you. Your witness. Thank you. Is it possible that someone could have subverted the system? It's highly unlikely. Really? Well, isn't it true that Bolivian drug lords managed to launder money through your bank for the past six years? I don't see the relevance. Well, all I'm saying is, if motivated criminals with unlimited resources managed to subvert your banking system, isn't it possible that they could have done the same thing in order to keep one of their own from being convicted of murder? I suppose anything I'm is... I'm sorry, is that a yes or a no? <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Ms. Joffe, why did you have a camera crew outside the PCPD on the day that Jason Morgan was transferred back from Pentonville to await this trial? The district attorney approached me and offered me full access to Jason Morgan's trial, starting with his transfer back from Pentonville. Is that common? Wow, well, it's unprecedented. Mr. Lansing said as much. What reason did Mr. Lansing provide you for granting this unprecedented access to the proceedings against my client? D.A. Lansing was confident he would get a conviction, and he wanted to document every step. Mr. Lansing said it was a high-profile case that could make a career, but it was also personal for okay. Objection, Your Honor. This, this is pure speculation. Your Honor, the witness is recounting her own conversation with the district attorney. There is no speculation. There is no hearsay. It is her best recollection of what the district attorney said. You may proceed. However, the witness is cautioned to confine her testimony to the conversation as she remembers it. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Javi, did Mr. Lansing say anything else that would suggest this case is personal? Yes, he did. Mr. Lansing said he was going to be the one who sent Jason to prison and that he wanted to document every step for publicity. 